All right. So during our uh, last episode in this live stream slash tutorial series on getting set up with uh, DirectX 12, uh, we did uh, our window creation. There are, uh, although <laughs> a few things that we would like to be able to do, uh, we would like to uh, be able to <coughs> call a method whenever our uh, application window is done being created, um, because whenever that happens, um, we will know that our window handle is actually pointing to something and uh, we will have a valid handle that DirectX uh, 12 uh, can uh, can um, can use, uh, and that's important. So we don't want to start up uh, DirectX uh, 12 before we actually have a valid handle. And the way we do that is actually uh, something that I uh, referenced here. Um, you can specify in the last parameter uh, kind of like a um, uh, something that just gets stored uh, inside the lparam uh, part of the message on the first message here. Um, um, you can store whatever you like. It's just a bit field. Um, so we could, for instance, store the class reference. This is a pointer to this actual class. Um, therefore, we uh, uh, can fetch that from the LPRAM. Uh, the Win32 API has something called a create struct on uh, the create call. Uh, you can... Uh, uh, do something like the uh, param uh, uh, fetch the param param uh, inside the uh, appropriate structure. Uh, let's see. Is it specified anywhere? Yeah. So it has a. Uh, um, a subfield uh, called uh, create parameters. Um, we simply uh, cast this part of the memory uh, as a uh, create struct so we can access it. And remember, it was part of our LPRAM. And then we know that uh, we store a application pointer, pointer, and uh, we simply uh, make sure that we can uh, cast that part of our memory to a pointer here. Uh, we will access our create struct and uh, the actual create parameter. And uh, we can then uh, actually store that inside our uh, application slash window uh, memory for future use. Um, right now you could uh, call uh, things with the uh, pointer here, for instance, uh, update or whatever, uh, but uh, we uh, only have the first message here um, uh, available. Um, so um, we can't be sure that our window is actually created. Um, therefore, uh, we would like to store this information for later. Uh, we will set um, a field inside uh, our uh, window. We will, of course, need the handle uh, to that um, window. And we will also have to specify the field. And this is where these parameters actually relate to the Windows procedure, because you can specify extra bytes that uh, are available um, uh, and that you can index with this uh, uh, parameter here. 
uh, we will just store it in the so-called user data, which is uh, uh, whoops, uh, which is a field that you can look up in the w documentation um, if you want to. Um, um, yeah. Um, you can see they have different indices. Um, I think uh, custom allocated bytes have positive indices. Uh, uh, as you can see, this is uh, intended for the application that created the window. So uh, our use case is uh, actually right on point. Um, so we will do that. And uh, we need to tell it what to store as the last parameter. Um, uh, yeah, uh, as you can see here, it's the replacement value. So uh, what about uh, just setting uh, uh, this field to uh, our actual pointer? Uh, interpret cast, and we of course need to um, specify the actual type here, uh, and we will store our pointer. This means that um, the very first time we uh, send a message to this Windows procedure, we store the uh, parameter that we passed along here, which is a pointer to the calling class that um, gets stored in that particular uh, Windows uh, uh, application setting database or whatever. This means that uh, now we can uh, access it and we will do that when we actually create our window. And we will fetch the application pointer. By casting the specified memory to a application pointer and we will get our windows Window long pointer, it's basically the get version of the set version. And we will just have to specify our handle and then where to access the data. This means that you could f store uh, uh, more elaborate structs if you uh, uh, wanted to. Um, I don't know how large the register, or rather not register, the memory location actually is. Um, yeah, but uh, you could do that uh, if you needed more information uh, stored in the application. Um, so now uh, when we create our, um, our application and we know our window is created, we would like something called uh, onCreate um, that we can call with our pointer. There we go. And let's just uh, do something. Oh, not a vector. <laughs> Created the actual window. And there we go. Our console. Uh, uh, Created. Let's. Created, sent, uh, create message. And uh, we created the window. We don't need exclamation points. Um, yeah. So this uh, basically means that now, uh, uh, whenever we enter this function, um, 
we are certain that uh, the create message has been sent and um, our window is created. Uh, create window, return handle, uh, and just to show you that I'm not just making things up. Um, uh, as you can see, this is, uh, oh, I got it the wrong way around. So we get this message after the window is actually created but before it becomes visible, visible. So we can be certain that our handle is intact as early as uh, when we get this message. But um, I didn't realize that uh, whenever this returns, uh, it actually is done sending these messages. Uh, anyway, the whole thing about uh, initializing the, uh, the uh, the thing um, in the correct order um, is correct anyway. Uh, but we would like to be able to pass along our uh, handle um, so we will uh, uh, pass that along since we will need it for our um, our um, DirectX API. Okay. Um, we are mostly done with uh, the basic stuff. Um, Mostly done. No, we still need to do uh, some message handling. Um, um, in terms of uh, message processing for later messages, uh, so that our window can become responsive. So. Uh, We will do that. Yeah, we will uh, grab all messages. Um, from the both the um, operating system, but especially the messages that get sent inside our application. Uh, we will grab peek into the messages as uh, as long as. Uh, this function actually returns uh, um, that it's doing message processing. Uh, it will return true. Um, we don't need to specify a particular handle. We don't need to uh, look into a um, particular part of the message uh, stream. Uh, and we want to remove uh, the message from the queue whenever uh we're done with it um and you do some uh, method calls here in the win32 api where uh you uh translate the message and you dispatch it And now our application should become responsive. Right before uh, we did this, let's see if we don't do this. I think uh, now uh, at least it, it right now I'm trying to drag the window as before. It doesn't register any messages, uh, but since um, this uh, message handling got implemented, 
it does actually process messages. Uh, right now, as you can see, it just is unresponsive. The messages can't be processed. Uh, if we peek them, we remove them from the queue. Um, if not, they just accumulate uh, in the message uh, queue. Um, this is also part of the actual application messages. These are uh, potentially operating system messages that could be sent outside the application to the application. Um, just bear <laughs> that in mind. All this uh, relates to, <laughs> excuse me, uh, to the actual application itself. So uh, the, whenever I uh, drag the window, resize the window, minimize the window, it's the a message. Uh, it's a message that gets sent to the actual application. It's not uh, sent uh, through the operating system. Uh, the closing of um, the uh, uh, um, actual application is an operating system message. Uh, it's called WM destroy. And if we ever get into that state, uh, we want to um, do some stuff. Uh, let's do an on destroy here method that we will couple uh, with. Um, setting our uh, is running flag to false. So whenever this gets called, uh, we uh, will make sure that the rest of the program knows that we are not running anymore. And we will also send a message that doesn't contain any errors. Zero is fine. Uh, and now you should see that I will be able to click the uh, close button and uh, even the uh, console here um, um, uh, stops running. Uh, uh, shutting down. Uh, I can see we missed the the end line up here. Anyway, we have now coupled uh, our uh, message handling to our application. Um, uh, you could do all kinds of stuff with that. Uh, you could do custom uh, message processing. For instance, if you drag the window, maybe you want to pause the application and set a pause flag somewhere. Um, um, you could do resizing. You could do a lot of different stuff. Um, yeah, I need a bathroom break. Uh, so this means that I will be ending the recording for the um, uh, video series uh, on YouTube. Um, yeah, but I will continue shortly uh, where we will dive into uh, the uh, basic setup of uh, DirectX 12. Uh, yeah.